High numbers and widespread cases of the flu are skyrocketing across the nation, including right here in Maryland. The virus has already claimed lives this year, and doctors fear there could be more deaths this season. WJZ is live. George Solis explains why the medical community is urging the public to take this sickness seriously. George. That's right. Good evening, Mary. Well, Maryland hospitals are reporting a dramatic increase in the number of flu patients. And get this, we haven't even hit the official peak of flu season yet. <coughs> Aggressive and widespread. Doctors now saying the flu season across the U.S. is getting worse. Every state and every hospital and every EMS system is being significantly impacted by the vast number of folks seeking care associated with the influenza-like illnesses and the complications that influenza illness is causing underlying diseases. Maryland hospitals aren't being spared. Doctors say the severe virus strain behind this dramatic increase in sickness is H3N2. The problem also putting a strain on emergency rooms. What we're seeing now is a saturation in our hospitals. It's why now more than ever health officials are stressing the importance of getting the flu vaccine. Officials also encouraging visits with primary care doctors or health clinics first. In most cases, doctors say there isn't much they can do once you are sick. The CDC is in itself doesn't recommend a lot of uh, things for that other than a lot of just supportive therapies. Good old over-the-counter medicines for the fevers and the aches and pains, lots of fluids, a bit of rest. According to the Maryland Department of Health, over the last several weeks, flu intensity has been high. All the more reason doctors are recommending the use of hand sanitizer and other germ-killing weapons at your disposal whenever possible. Yeah. Health officials say so far this isn't the deadliest flu season, but the virus is responsible for the death of more than 30 children across the country. People also remaining proactive to avoid getting sick. People at work are sick. Yet, you know, they do take the recommended days off, so that way they won't be spreading germs around the office. Now, the state health department does keep a weekly count of reported flu cases. The last total was for the week ending in January 13th, which saw more than 1,800 ER visits. Live tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ. That is a lot, George. Thank you. Doctors say it is hard to say why there have been so many child flu-related deaths. They say they can't rule out the possibility of underlying illnesses.